Once again, cool, this is Alan from all the border two roller coaster page. Give a like on Facebook, follow on Twitter at Pods Boys. Also, you can subscribe to me on YouTube. Give us a subscribe there and give us a like on the video. And um, follow me on Twitter at Porsche underscore HDTV. Just want to cover a few things off in this video burning issues and stuff like that. What's been banned around the page and social media and stuff like that. Uh, first off, Dave's been hugging Shane Long after last night's performance maybe he's on about Newcastle saying them in January or whatever well I would say mm, that's our only deal in facts here and I'm going to have a look at his record ok and then you can draw all your, all your own conclusions leave us a comment below and on YouTube or on Facebook or on Twitter just leave us any comments on what you think Oh, you do, you, that's me, that's what I just got email on my phone. I'm using my phone here for facts, because I'm only dealing with facts. Right. 2005, Cork City, one appearance, no goals, fair enough. Right. Um, 2005, 2006, Redden in the Championship, 11 appearances, 3 goals. Got promoted to the Premiership, 06, 07. 21 appearances, 2 goals. 07 08, 29 appearances, 3 goals. They got relegated back to the championship. Uh, 08 09, 39 appearances, 9 goals. 09 10, 31 appearances, 6 goals. It's most prolific season, maybe it's for Redden, or maybe it's for more prolific season, is 2010-2011, uh, 45 appearances, 23 goals. Not a bad tally, but remember, that's only the championship. Um, in 11 and 12, he's signed for West Brom. Uh, he made 32 appearances and scored 8 goals. 2012-13, he scored he made 34 appearances, 8 goals again, and in 13-14 this season, he's made 9 appearances and only scored 3 goals. So altogether for Redden, he's made 177 appearances and only scored 46 goals, right? Um, and for West Brom, he's made... 75 appearances, 19 goals so far. His career total is 253 games, 66 goals. Now, I I would draw that he's not the most prolific of strikers. Maybe a different scenario if he's got a quality team around him, which Newcastle can create some quality sometimes, you know. So, you know, it's something to consider, but I wouldn't say he's the most prolific goal scorer. I think if we're going to replace Papi Cissé, as people are wanting to do, um, I think we need a more prolific, well-proven goal scorer. I don't know if you want to push the ball out and bring back Demba Ball because he's having a fucking shit time at Chelsea. There's something else to, um, to consider. So... Like I say, I'm not going to say that, but my personal opinion is Shane Long's not the total prolific. Yes, he had a good game, but you can't just judge him on one game. He, there's a fact there over his career, and he's not the most prolific goal scorer, I would say. Moving on. Colaccini. Right. This week against West Brom, funny enough, um, the Bushies back for the right back position. Who do you drop? Do you drop Colaccini or Mbira? Now, my personal opinion is, right, after this week he's came out and he, can, he wants to fuck off back to Argentina with that San Lorenzo, right? Do you think, you know, I'm just asking you, putting the question out there to you, do you think if he wants to go in the summer or whenever, right, do we move on now? Do we keep Mbira in the team as a replacement? And have him and Williamson. Due to the fact that if if he wants a gun, you know, we've got to resign to the fact he, he might be gone. So do we move on, look at his replacement, which is naturally Young and Bira, or do we fuck up a week in Bira, then hire him in next season or in January or whatever, uh, when he wants to go, when Colicini wants to go, that is. Um, I personally think he's came out this week, made his intentions 
clear. I'm not disputing the fact he's a great servant of the club. He's put some great performances in. He's our captain at the minute. But if if he's coming out this week and saying, I want to leave Newcastle United for San Lorenzo, I think we need to start moving on and looking at the, the future. And the future will be Yanga and Biwa. Uh, I think he'll be the next player to... Uh, come into this and um, you know and be the new Colacini, you know what I mean so there's my thoughts on that leave any of your thoughts any of your opinions below in the comments on YouTube or Facebook moving on referees are back in the spotlight right uh, we know the scum has Wes Brown's red card overturned I've seen the challenge even though I hate the scum, I have to agree it was never a red card. Uh, he got the ball. It was just a normal challenge, and I don't know. I don't see what fucking the referee was looking at. Um, so it hurts me to say this, but yes, I agree. Um, but you know, do he's been banned for two games or something like that? If referees get it blatantly wrong, blatantly like that, like the Hydra tackle. With uh, Callum McManaman, you know, do referees should referees be fined because they're not doing the job properly? They've jeopardised the game, right? Do they get fined? And now do they get banned? Not just you know, he's he's not refereeing in a Premiership match, right? Doesn't mean he may be moved down the leagues. Fair enough, it may be a punishment then. But if if you know if the player does something wrong, he gets fined. He gets um, he gets a suspension, a total outright suspension. So should referees get all uh, all out suspension? You know, look at uh, Howard Webb. He's too busy shagging Manchester United uh, to you know to call a match straight down the middle. He has I seen many a game. He's getting it blatantly wrong. Should referees like that should get suspended? Right, blatant. Right, it's totally blatant. You know. You know, someone slags him off. Uh, who was it? Ryan Babble. Someone put on um, Twitter. Uh, how about Webb uh, in a Man United top? Hey, he's fucking spot on the money because the referee needs to look into referees like that and say what the fuck's going on. It seems to be every time you cook up, it's with this team. What's your problem? You know, and should the should the face a suspension? Should they be fined? That is the question. Uh, so, you know, before I put it out there, leave your comments, thoughts below, give the video a like, share it, you know, great stuff. Um, and uh, by the way, I am not a douchebag, I only deal in facts. Fake. Okay, until next time, how are the lads?